In this video, I will show you how to make a score system that has score and has score. And also how to save and load your score and high score using these two buttons. The plus sign button will increase the score and the minus sign button will decrease it. All we need is one simple C sharp script. I will call it score. Open it up and the first thing you need to do is to write using unityengine.ui because we want to display the score and the high score text using the unity default text. Now inside the score class we need two static integer values for the score and the high score. and two texts for the score text and the high score text. If you are not familiar with what I'm doing right now, it's basically defining two variables with the same data type. The data type we are using for the score and the high score is the integer data type. So there is no need to type two lines to define two variables with the same data type. This is just a bonus tip to help you code faster and cleaner. I'm doing the same thing with the text variables. Now create an update function and assign the score text dot text to score dot to string and high score text dot text to high score dot to string. Now we will create four functions for our buttons. The first one is going to be for the add button, I will call it add score with an integer argument called amount. Inside, I will increase the score by the amount we will choose later. Now create another function for subtracting the score, just like how we did with the add score function, but this time we will decrease by the amount instead of increasing it. Now create a save function. And inside this function, we will save the score and the high score using player prefs dot set integer. Now we must use a string and integer values to save our data. For score, I will save it as score and the saved value will be the score. Same thing with the high score. Now to load the saved data, we will assign the score and the high score variables to the data we saved by using player-prefs.getInteger and the name we assigned with Now to make the high score works, we have to tell the script inside the update function that if the score is higher than the high score, that means we have a new high score and we want to update it. Let's save and go back to Unity. Select the main camera and drag and drop this score script into it. Now drag and drop the text elements into the script. After that, select the buttons and make sure they all have the button component. Add a new event for each button and select the functions related to them under the main camera. For the add button, we will give it the amount value which is by how much do we want to increase the score. And for the subtract button, we will give it a subtracting value.
give the rest of the buttons their functionality and start testing your score system. Now we are done, but if you want to auto save and load without pressing any button, all you have to do is to create a start function, and inside you will call the load function. So every time you will load the game, the first thing will happen is the score and high score will be loaded. And to auto save, call the save function here, here, and here. So every time the values change, the new values will be saved. Now you can get rid of the save and load buttons if you want.